question 7. It says let fx equal m minus 1 on x and it also says the line y equals x minus m intersects this graph of f in two distinct points. Now find the possible values of m. Okay, so if we want to find where they intersect, we need to let these two graphs equal each other. So let's make fx equal to y. So therefore we'll have m minus 1 on x will equal x minus m. Now we're going to try and create an equation here and it's most likely going to be a quadratic. So let's multiply every term by x to get this x off the bottom line and we're going to get mx minus 1 will equal x squared minus mx. Okay, let's put everything on one side. So I'm going to have x squared. Now if I take this mx on the other side, I'm going to have negative 2mx. So negative 2mx and then plus 1 and this will equal 0. Now we have a quadratic and we want to try and solve our quadratic here and, it, and the question says it has two distinct points intersects two distinct points. Now that means that the discriminant of our quadratic is greater than zero. So two distinct points, that means that the discriminant is greater than zero. So the discriminant of this, if I have my a as the coefficient of x squared, which is one, my b, which is the coefficient of x, is negative two m, and my c as the constant, one, my discriminant is b squared minus four ac, which will equal, actually I'm going to put my discriminant first, I'm going to have negative 2m squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, and this will be greater than 0. So two, negative 2m all squared is 4m squared, minus 4 is greater than 0. Now I want to solve for m here, so I'm going to take the 4 on the other side, so 4m squared is greater than 4, divide by 4, m squared is greater than 1. Now this is a little bit tricky to solve here if you, if you don't have too much background with inequalities. So what we can do is we can take the square root of both sides, but we need to consider both sides of this. So it's going to be m is going to be less then negative 1 and then also m is going to be greater than 1. Now these, this is the square root um, a way of thinking about this, this is a graph, if m squared is a graph here, when is this greater than 1? Uh, oh, sorry, this should be here and 1 is there and it's greater than 1 that way of negative 1 and that way of positive 1. So that's why these are my answers for M. So M is less than negative one and M is greater than one will be our answer.